So today we're going to be modeling and printing a dragon's egg. It's going to be a simple egg shape with some scales applied to it. So the first thing we need to do is go over here to the scene tab then down under units. I'm going to change this and I'm going to make sure this is millimeters. Now if you've got a camera and a default cube in the scene, make sure we select these and then press X, just delete them. Shift A, mesh, and we're going to add in a UV sphere. Now it's far too big right now, so if we press N, we can kind of see the dimensions here, which is two meters. That's far too big. So let's just scale this down. I'm not going to worry about the dimensions right now. I'm just going to model the shape and then I'll be able to play around with the dimensions. So let's tap to go into edit mode. I'm just going to select this vertex here. So right click, select this vertex. Then if we hit O on the keyboard, we can activate proportional editing and we can see this by this icon over here when we press it. So now this is activated. What we can do when we drag this up, if we increase the middle mouse wheel or scroll up or down, we can influence the fall off type um, for the other faces. So we can easily get the egg shape that we want, which is pretty simple. We just drag this up. And again, you can refine this if it's not to your liking, but I mean, that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and add a subsurf modifier. So over to modifiers here, subdivision surface. I'm going to increase this to two for now. It's also quite flat. So press T, go to shading, just smooth this out. Looking pretty good. So the next thing we're going to have to do is add a seam to this. So when it unwraps for the displacement texture that we put onto it. So not too hard. All we need to do is just go to the back of it and go to the back view by pressing control and number one, press tab to go into edit mode. And then if we go to edge selects mode here, and also let's turn off proportional editing by pressing O. Now I just want to select this edge at the back here. So I'm just going to hold alt and then right click. We just select this edge here. Now if I hold control and then press E, I just want to go down to mark seam. So now this has got a seam on it when we unwrap this, split this window and change this to the UV image editor. Go ahead and open up the image that you want to use. So this is the image that I'm going to use. I'll throw a link in the description as well. So you, you guys can go ahead and download this too. It's from textures.com it's free to download. So if you want to use that, go ahead and do that. So now we need to unwrap this. Let's just drag this out. Let's press tab to go into edit mode, press A to select everything. And then what we need to do is I jump to the front view and then press five on the number pad to go to orthographic view. And if we hit U, bring up the UV mapping menu here, we can first try unwrap and see how it does it. It's, <laughs> it's quite terrible. So let's try that again, U to unwrap and let's try cylinder projection because it's more of a cylinder shape than it is a sphere. So let's try cylinder. That's not too bad. Actually, that's quite good and uh, maybe a bit too big, but if it's not um, looking too good, what you can do is jump to the side view by pressing number pad three and then press U to unwrap and try cylinder projection again. And it might be a bit straighter like this. It's not got those edges that I had a minute ago. So trying from a different angle for some reason <laughs> makes it better. I don't know why somebody can probably explain why, but now we have this, let's just scale it down and we want to scale it on the Y axis. So if we press S then Y, can just scale this down, G, bring this over, something like that should be good if we can. So we can always come back and refine this if we need to, so tab back out of it. So now let's apply the scales. If we go back up to the modifier tab, add a modifier under deform, let's go down to displace. And again, we can see this texture here is a displacement texture. So the link that I put in the description, make sure you download this displacement texture. Let's go down to new. We also want to change the texture coordinates from local to UV. And we can also select the UV map that we made, which is the one that we unwrapped. So now we still don't see anything since we need to apply the actual texture. So if we click this button here and then go down where it says uh, image, instead of opening, since we've already opened the image within Blender, we can actually select this icon here, then select the image. Now this should apply <laughs> to this, but it's not. One of the things, one of the reasons why it's not, it's not showing up is because of the scale. 
we actually scaled this way down and um, it's yeah it's not really applied so what we need to do is press control and a and then we want to apply this scale as soon as we do that we get this so for some reason this is it's turned inside out i'm not sure why it's done that but you can see from the shading that it's inside out so if we tab into it make sure we select all of these faces if we hit the spacebar and then type flip we can just flip these normals now we can see it's got the correct shading it kind of looks like a pineapple right now but now one of the reasons why it kind of looks low res is because it's not got enough faces we need to go over to our subsurf modifier and just increase the views now for this i'm probably going to go quite high and it's going to slow things down but um let's try five so it's looking better except it still looks more like a a pineapple so <laughs> let's go and fix that the strength down here under the displacement we need to reduce this so i'm going to try 0.1 and maybe that's not enough so let's try 0.3 or 4 that's looking better also the scaling doesn't look right i mean it should look more like this rather than this so we need we can fix that if we tab back into edit mode we can see the faces don't really match these faces. I mean, these are not squares anymore, they're more rectangles because I scaled it out. Let's try and match this. We give this more of a width here. So let's press S, X. Okay, so that's more like it. Let's tab out of it and go to object mode. That's looking better. We do have some issues with the uh, pinching up here and obviously at the bottom as well. Now, one of the ways we can try and fix that is these points up here right click select this drag it out that's kind of how it should look we need to do the same for the bottom one as well but um it kind of helps a little bit it doesn't help completely because it needs more faces as you can see it's only one face so that's all you're getting up the top here <laughs> so now we've stretched it out a little bit it's a little bit better and once we apply things we can smooth all this out and get rid of it <laughs> that's looking good for a scaly dragon egg it's not looking too bad but overall i'm pretty happy with that scaly dragon's egg so let's go ahead and fix the size um, i'm going to press s to scale i'm going to watch this value here for the z and i'm going to go to maybe four or five centimeters something like this now i've scaled this up we need to apply the scale again and watch what happens to the scales Control a apply scale and we kind of lose all that sharpness again so we need to increase this strength and that's because we've scaled it up so this this value obviously needs to be increased as well so let's maybe go to 0 0.5 it's way too much 0 0.5 <laughs> okay maybe a bit a bit more so maybe 0 0.7 let's try that so again find a value that you think looks good and now all we need to do is export this out so make sure we have this selected we don't need to apply the modifiers we can just um, export this as an stl so with your model selected go to file export stl and if you've got more than one object in the scene and you only want to export the object that you have selected make sure you have selection only but since there's only one object in my scene i don't really need to do that i'm just rename this and make sure you save this to your folder where you keep your stls and then go ahead and export it so now that's been exported i need to open it up in cura and just slice it and i'll also make sure to record the printing process uh, as always i'll upload this model to blend swap so if you want to download this model there's a link in the description you go ahead and download that hopefully you found this tutorial helpful if you did be sure to give this a like as always thank you for watching and see you next time